Have you guys seen Fallout yet? I want to talk about Fallout today, the TV show in particular, because I'm going to put it out there right now. I am new to this fandom. The show was my first introduction to it, to this world, to the world of the wasteland, to the Brotherhood of Steel, to the vaults and everything. This was my introduction, and I have to say that I loved it. And I kind of want to play the games now, at least the ones that I know the lore will pertain that kind of leads to the show. Because I know Shady Sands is a place in the, in, in at least established in the canon of the games. But without making this intro too long, we're just going to go ahead, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and let's dive into the wasteland and underground in the vaults, and let's talk about Fallout. Firstly, let's talk about the acting. I feel like everybody here came to work. A couple of the interviews with the cast and after watching the show of the with the, actually the actress that played Lucy played Jinx in Arcane. I love the actress. She 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 completely sold it. Lucy is the vault dweller of Vault 33 and we follow her story as her vault is raided by raiders and her father is kidnapped. So she has to gen venture up to the surface and venture across the wasteland facing all kinds of monsters and bugs and she gets caught up in basically the future what a decision that could cause the future of the entire world to change i loved this show all the actors i feel like came back to work and I actually found out what through watching interviews that the actress of Lucy, which I'm looking for her name, I don't think I wrote down her name, but I will put it up here. <laughs> I was watching an interview with her and she said that she actually went and played the games even though they told her before, you know, doing the project that she didn't have to play the games and she wanted to do it anyway and so she did so and I think that was actually really cool. And she found, and she uh, said that, like, being on set the first day after playing the games was, like, she was, because she had also made her character look like her. So it was, like, her stepping into that world that she had just, you know, been immersed in. And it was, you know, in front of her and having the vault suit on. And she said it was a really cool experience. And fans of this show... Are all I mean fans of the actual like the, these games go back as far as 96 these games have been around for a long time they have a long-standing legacy and a huge fan base that has just exploded with this show and I know this video is kind of all over the place it has been kind of a hectic week but I just I really wanted to talk about this show because I watched it for the second time and I have been trying to get this video filmed so here we are I love all the actors and I found it was a cool thing that like the actress of Lucy went and did that and played the games. I love the ghoul. Walter Goggins as the ghoul is so fucking good. Like I wasn't too sure I would like his character at first, but like as we went on, I found out that the ghoul was so well written and as we kept peeling back the layers on him, I'm not gonna have any spoilers, but as we peel back the layers on the ghoul, is so fucking awesome i love his story and i'm very interested in like where his family and everything is i've also started watching lore videos on youtube i have been deep cleaning my house as i've been listening to all the the, the juicy lore since i just now renewed my game pass so i could download uh fallout 76 because i like the idea of the the fallout in the appalachians <laughs> more more so than the idea of um more so than the idea of the fourth game but anyway i feel like the ghoul is supposed to be like some kind of representation of like a mysterious stranger because he has like the musical cue and i found that was really cool to find out after even watching the show I found that this actor really sold the ghoul to me. I I don't really think I've ever seen Walter Goggins in anything else, but I after watching this show, I'm a huge fan. Really enjoy him as the ghoul. He's such a badass. 
I found myself looking forward to seeing him in every episode. Like him and him, him in the last episode is so fucking badass. Another one who surprised me is actually someone that I've seen since my childhood. Oh my god, we're finally getting to my boy Norm, played by Moises Arius. Oh my god. Yo, when I saw him on screen, I you all y'all don't get it, okay? I was an early 2000s baby. I loved Hannah Montana obsessed with hannah montana there's something in my eye and it is bothering the shit out of me also i had to go to the hospital a couple day a couple nights ago because um since i have been deep cleaning a bottle of bleach spilled thanks to my cats and i had to get my eyes flushed anyway that so my eyes will be a little bit twitchy and shit if you see that that's why anyway moises arius as Norm, I was so excited to see him in this show because I haven't like I've I've been watching him since his Hannah Montana days, and I'm really glad that we got to I I got to see him in more of a dramatic role. I always thought that he could handle something like this, even back when he was on Hannah Montana. He was kind of a scary kid sometimes on that show. Not gonna lie, you know he was sneaky, a little devious. I thought he would do well in some kind of drama, and it's really good to see him all these years later thriving on a on another hit show. It it's great. I, I, I really enjoyed seeing Moises Arius and I found myself really invested in his side of the plot. And I really, really hope we get to see more of him. It, 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 it's just really good to see one Disney star that I feel like hasn't done anything. I mean, I haven't looked in to see if he's done anything, if you know what I mean. But, like, I haven't heard anything about him doing anything. So, like, it's good to see one Disney star that I grew up with that hasn't had some kind of really big problems. I hope. I really hope, because if I say this now and he's done something in the past and I just, I didn't find out about this and I've just been praising him, I'm, I'm gonna feel bad. I'm gonna feel bad. But let's hope that's not the, let, let, let's hope that's not the case. Anyway, I'm glad to see Moises Arias doing more shit and it not just being comedic. Because we all know that he can do comedy. I'm really glad to see him doing some more emotional drama kind of horror stuff. Because I always felt like he could handle that kind of stuff. when he was re Even when he was Rico on Hannah Montana. I'm not going to lie. Let's move on to my second point. The writing. I feel like whoever was behind the writing on this series. And in and, and the writing development in general. Really cared about the world that they were creating. So many fans have come forward. Like, people that have been fans since the game that came out in 1996, which, for context, was a long time ago, guys. I hate to say it for all my older, older viewers. That's, that, like, I don't remember 96. I barely remember 2001. That's, that's, like, longer than I can remember. So shout out to all you older Fallout fans and sticking around this long and dealing with Bethesda's ass. Honestly, all the respect from a newer, from a, from a Fallout TV series, you know, coming in to your fandom, all the respect in the world to you guys. I say the same thing about the Vampire Chronicles fans. Y'all go for so long dealing with such bullshit and I just, I encourage... And I just admire you guys for dealing with this bullshit <laughs> for so long. And now you're just now having new fans, which I understand can be scary. And sometimes, you know, problematic people come in. But I'm really glad to see that a lot of the original Fallout fans are also praising this show. As well as fans of all the other games have been saying that this is such a faithful adaptation. And I am really glad to see that because... As you guys know, the adaptations of video games don't exactly have the best records when it comes to bringing it to the TV screen or the movie screen. I mean, can we all remember Halo? 
and how bad that was. Have we seen the descent of the Witcher? What was that last season, guys? I've read the books now, which I know I have to do a review. I'm so sorry for all the people that come for my book reviews and that this review was all over the place, but it's been, a, been like five days and it's been a hellish couple days in particular. So I feel like I haven't filmed in a long time and I have to catch you, catch you guys up on a lot of shit. And it's really early in the morning, so I'm kind of in that state where, like, my mind is going boop, 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 three different places. I've got my script here. So we're, we're, the train is on track, but it's, it's, you know, wobbling a little bit here. But I, I really enjoy the fact that the older fans are enjoying the series, that there's a lot of details and things that they enjoy, that this is, you know, bringing all these new people in. I heard that, like, the game hasn't, these games haven't really been that popular as of late. So all these people coming in is really giving people, like, a renewed resurgence of, like, hope and interest. And I'm really glad to see that. Even though I know that it can come with some toxic people. Hi, been a Harry Potter fan for a while. I've dealt with some people. There's some newer fans. I understand you guys. I get it. I get it. I'm also a Star Wars fan. I fell in love with Star Wars because of the prequels. When they were quote unquote shit. I understand y'all's plight on a very deep and personal level. And I have no doubt in my mind if I turn this into a long-standing hyperfixation of mine that I will also understand from also a Fallout fan's perspective eventually. But it's it, it's good to see. It's, it's, it, it's really good to see when something does good and it actually makes the people that harsh that basically made this happen get what they want and i don't mean that in the way that's like give them everything that they want because even as someone that's been around and has watched adaptations of my favorite things a lot of the times they're not good a lot of the times they are not good so it's really heartwarming to see when they do good and they also know what they're doing and what they're talking about. Again, look at the train wreck that has been The Witcher recently. Poor Henry Cavill. Fucking hell. I forgot that, like, that was, like, one of his dream roles. Oh, man. Ugh. That's awful. But, yeah. I'm gonna sum that up to basically everything I said before. And let's just go ahead and jump to my next point. Number three. I believe is I love the costuming department the costuming department the set designers I want to give them their flowers because shout out to these people every costume did not look like it came from party city quality and like a lot of tv shows do today none of the sets look like like none of the sets look cheap None of the costumes look cheap. I felt absolutely immersed in this world. And I felt like that that is something that a lot of people tend to overlook when it comes to like getting immersed in a film or a movie or a TV show. Like, I feel like the costuming and the sets take, participate, like they participate a lot in that. Even though you don't really notice, it's the same reason why music is so impactful in a movie and you might not notice that but it's there and it does influence you and when it comes to bringing you into a world i mean as soon as you think of pirates of the caribbean you can probably picture like one of your favorite scenes from those movies just from hearing that dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -dun -dun. like come on and I feel like costuming, I mean, even like thinking about Pirates of the Caribbean, I think of that dress in the first movie that um, Elizabeth Swan wears. Beautiful, beautiful gown. I don't know how they did her makeup so perfectly. Kira Knightley was only 17 in that movie. Can you believe it? I didn't even know that. She was only 17. 
acting with the likes of Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp. Girl's a freaking legend. Girl's a freaking legend. Anyway, shout out to the costuming department. They, I feel like they deserve all the flowers because they tend to be the people behind the curtain a little bit. And I feel like sometimes they don't get the flowers that they deserve. So shout out to the costuming. Everyone who worked on the costuming department put in stitching and just weathering all those coats. Especially the ghoul's outfit must have taken a lot of weathering. And I can't imagine the work put into making these outfits look dirty and nasty and grungy and just just filthy and it just looked it looked so freaking good and the cell then the sets were all freaking good like philly the I, I i just it was great i loved i love that shit that's the shit that i that, that, that that's some of the shit that i really like so i'm giving them their flowers let's move on to my next point number four just on an added side point here and i'm gonna read my note off a little more so i can explain my point a little more eloquently because i can write eloquently but when it comes out my mouth and i can't look at it things are gonna go sideways in my head so i'm gonna try to read it off as best as i can just an added side note here in, in point four i loved how well the writers worked in the weird sometimes graphic nonsense of the wasteland i'm not gonna spoil it a whole lot but there's a ton of moments where things that are just absolutely horrific will happen and lucy will just go okie dokie i love it like she just keeps it pushing and i will say that much lucy really comes into her own towards episode eight and sometimes i shook my head laughing at the weirdly graphic but also hilarious jokes in this show and it was so well balanced and i feel like it balanced it well with the more dark and serious side of this narrative so i feel like that's all my points let's go ahead and get to my final thoughts about fallout overall i was pleasantly surprised with how much i enjoyed this tv series from going to having zero interest at all to being curious about the lore now just says a lot of how much that this show has gotten me hooked right from the start it grabbed my attention and it did not let go the mystery elements are fucking amazing too and that i believe was the part the part that hooked me in the most particularly norm's investigation in vault 33 it made me the most curious about vault tech and what parts that they play in the bombs going off the vaults and everything is interconnected needless to say i haven't even ever played around in this world and it felt like i had watched a really good introduction to it and the fans at least the ones that i've seen have agreed with that sentiment it's dark and it's blunt at times while horrifying and also charming Fallout might not be everybody's cup of tea from the subject matter being somewhat a reflection of possible future events for us in the real world. The aspect of the aspect I believe kind of adds a little bit of a horror to it. Kind of in the way that like shows like American Horror Story or Black Mirror will have done. The apocalypse being a product isn't something out of the realm of possibility in my opinion. And that this show reflects one of those very many possible futures where this could happen if capitalism does go unchecked and i'm not a political person but i don't trust corporations and i feel like that's something everyone can agree on and this show is basically what if big big corp plot to end world you know So I feel like that's something that everyone can kind of get behind and look at in that kind of lens. And if you don't want to look at it in that kind of lens, there's perfectly enough action and humor and intrigue to keep you going. If even if you do not care about that kind of stuff, I feel like this show was great. I really have no notes. There were some things that I do question 
and I'm not going to spoil it because this show is still relatively new and I do want you guys to go and watch this. I loved this a lot. I think it was a really cool show. I'm gonna try to play Fallout 76. Maybe if you guys want me to play that on the channel here, I do play gameplay. Let me go ahead and uh, segue into the into the after the final thoughts. Hi, my name's Randomness. I don't just talk about TV shows. I also talk about movies, books, gaming. I, I do gameplay on this channel as well. I've been playing Batman Arkham, Arkham City. <laughs> Why do I keep trying to call it Arkham Asylum? Arkham City. I've been playing Arkham City recently and that has been a blast to return to. And I'm also trying to figure out how to get Minecraft to work. <laughs> For some reason, it doesn't want to work on my laptop. But yeah, I don't just do this stuff. I'm also working on quite a couple other things in the shadows. Um, so yeah, I think I've already told you guys a little bit about my week. And if you feel like it and you've gotten this far please you're not obligated to but you know i'm a youtuber i gotta say it please hit the like and the subscribe button you're not obligated to but it does help me out and if you want to see more of these turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video with all that out of the way um if you're an original fallout fan tell me your experiences down below or any tips you have for someone that's new playing the games help I don't know what I'm doing and I would love some tips on how to build a good character in particular. So if any Fallout fans are watching this, please, uh, tips would be appreciated in the comment section. And thank you in advance if you do reply to this plea. <laughs> or holotape, if you want me to say. Is that cringe? I don't know. I don't know the... I don't know how the fans would react to that, but hey, I'm trying here. I'm making references to hollow tapes. I'm a fledgling here. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, that's what I got to say about Fallout. I love you all so, so much, and I hope you have the best day. See you later.